You want to take us uh, to listener David? David. Another, a a different David. David. Yeah. This is a, a good question. Um, I believe you covered this before, but I'm looking for a way to travel with the least amount of dongles, cables, etc. I have a MacBook Air, an iPad, Apple Watch, and iPhone. Do you have a preferred solution? Um, you know, you're going to have to do this on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, unless all your peripherals are USB-C, but I highly doubt that. <clears throat> sure. Um, so you only need some sort of uh, dongle or dock or whatever you want to call it. Um, so, you know, make a summary of all the things that you have and all the connectors. Um, for example, I just traveled and Anchor had provided a couple of docks, uh, to both me and you, I think. And the one that I brought with me was exactly what I needed is that it had, um, uh, an ethernet port in case there was an ethernet port to plug into versus Wi-Fi. Um, and this hotel actually did have an ethernet cable, Dave. I don't know if it was live, but, um, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I brought an anchor one that had a uh, ethernet port and two USB a ports. So you're talking about a, a dongle that connects to your computer to give your computer connectivity to your devices or to the devices in the hotel. Yeah. Yes. Great. So I found the anchor 543 USB C hub, which I think is probably the current version of, of, you know, what you're talking about here. Uh, and I'll, I'll put that in the show notes just to, just to get us there. So, um, cause it's a USB C hub. It's got some, uh, USB C ports on it. Actually, I don't, ah, this one doesn't have any USB a ports or maybe it does. Oh no, it does. Sorry. Yeah. It's got, actually, this one's great. It's got power delivery input, uh, power delivery output to your computer, a USB C data port, two USB a ports, HDMI and ethernet. So mm -hmm. yeah, that, that, that would be a good one. Is that, I assume that's similar to what the one you have. Yeah. Yeah. And they have, um, well, they have a more button, but I, I don't want to fiddle with the web page while we're discussing things. Cause that's just rude. Um, <laughs> uh, here's the one thing I found on my travels, Dave though. Um, USB a everybody offer every, every, any place, where I had the potential to charge, the only thing that was available was USB A. So that Sounds was either on me. the plane, which is nice. Um, the planes that I were on actually also had a 120 volt, which that's handy. Yep. Um, and then the airports have charging stations and the hotel had charging stations, but they're all USB A. So that's why that was important to me. Yeah. Yeah. And that makes sense because USB C could be a power delivery scenario and you don't want like that's not going to work in it, for the masses right so USB A, simple five volts everything just works you have your USB A cable to whatever you need to charge it's not going to charge your laptop whereas if you had a USB C cable that was only five volts or USB C port that you could plug your laptop in, you wouldn't get enough juice out of it, right? So I think it's smart that they stay with USB-A for, uh, you know, for sort of the ubiquitous power ports that are in mm -hmm. hotel rooms and airplanes and all of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, the other annoyance is that the, is that the phone still has lightning. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So bring a, an A to lightning cable and you're good to go, right? I, yeah. I also highly recommend some and we talked about it on the show uh i don't know about six months ago put some a to c adapters in your travel case you can buy them cheap on amazon and that way if you if you find yourself in a scenario where all you have is you you know your 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 pile of usb c cables and a usb a port you're like oh good to go put them in done 